Hey guys, Mr. B here again, bringing you another exponent live video. Um, this one I'm going to be discussing what happens when you have a negative exponent. So you might have seen this in your math classes, 5 to the negative 2. And negative exponents can be a little bit intimidating when you first do them. So there are a couple little easy things that you need to remember to be able to do this. So, um, first thing you need to remember is that what a negative exponent does is it takes the reciprocal of the base. So 5 to the negative 2 is the same as... 1 over 5 all to the positive 2. So it takes the reciprocal of the base so it flips over the 5 and becomes 1 over 5 and then the exponent becomes positive. So you do not change the sign of the base and you do not flip the exponent. So that's kind of the thing you remember. You change the sign of the exponent and you flip the base. So change the sign of the exponent you can pick that up and you flip the base there we go so it's pretty messy but it is what it is let's see another example so let's try 2 to the negative 3 so that becomes 1 over 2 flip the base change the sign of the exponent to the 3 how about x to the negative 2 so that becomes 1 over x to the negative 2, or to the positive 2. Now, you can actually reduce these down a little bit more if you wanted to as well, because we can use our, you know, power of a power, power of a quotient, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, this means 1 cubed and 2 cubed, so it becomes 1 cubed and then 2 cubed, which ends up being 1 over 2 cubed. So really, we can get there right away, knowing that we end that 1 squared or 1 cubed or whatever, always is just 1, so 1 over x squared, just like that. Um, now you might have something like this. 1 over 2 to the negative 2. So again, we flip the base, so this becomes 1 over 2 flipped over. The reciprocal of the base is 2 over 1, so I'll just write 2, and the exponent becomes positive, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 2, which is 4. Or you might have something like this. Negative 3 over 4 to the negative 2. So we flip the base, or take the reciprocal, so it becomes negative 4 over 3. The sign of the base doesn't change, only the exponent changes sign, so that becomes 2. Let's do another one of those. How about negative 2 over 3 to the negative 4? So that becomes negative 3 over 2 to the 4. So guys, I hope this helps. Um, knowing your negative exponents and how they work, really important. But... Um, it's not complicated if you just put a little practice in. Um, yeah, so good luck. See you guys in class, and thanks for watching.